Hey, what's up? This is Alex Miller. You're back at the Trailer Project. Um, today's trailer is especially fascinating because we're going to be taking a look at Robert Brisson's Lancelot du Lac, or Lancelot of the Lake. Um, what makes this movie so fascinating is that it's Robert Brisson doing a medieval epic. And Robert Brisson, we're talking about the guy who did Pickpocket. We're talking about the guy who did L'Argent. We're talking about the last director you'd ever expect to make a medieval epic film. I mean, this would be like Terrence Malick making a Transformers sequel. Not that I wouldn't see that. But just to give you an example of how um, strange of a project this is. But lo and behold, it's a masterpiece and one of my favorite movies from the director. So without any further ado, let's check out the recently restored trailer for Robert Bresson's Lancelot du Lac. So this is definitely a recently restored trailer, which probably means there's going to be a Blu-ray release in the near future, so Criterion, I'm looking at you. Uh, whoever cut this trailer is clearly channeling the director's style, kind of letting the shots run and speak for themselves. Alright, so you see like the gushing blood there? I do kind of have a theory here. This film came out in 74, which is just a year before Monty Python's Quest for the Holy Grail. Now, I can't help but wonder if this informed the goofy, cartoonish geysers of blood that they would use in that movie. I mean, parodying the high art stylings of someone like Brisson very much falls in line with Monty Python's M.O. Oh, hey, look, there's some burning bodies too. How about that? That, uh, that big thumping epic score is probably the most um, genre consistent element in this film. Uh, Brisson's very percussive sound editing pays off in dividends here. You can really hear the thump of the lances in these joust scenes. Oh, hey, look, it's the title of the film again. Cool. And it's funny, this isn't so much a revisionist um, look at a genre, but it's just a Brisson. It's just Robert Brisson making a medieval film. There's still jousting, battles, and people getting lit on fire. It's very much in the mold of his austere and static shooting styles. Um, you can see the emphasis on hands in the way they edited this trailer. Um, uh, Brisson and hands, is, it's kind of a thing. Interesting bit of trivia, you know, Brisson didn't actually hire actors. He would um, basically just cast wh whoever he felt looked the part. He called them models, not actors. And it dates the film a little bit in that you have these very like, hippie-looking knights. Um, earlier I mentioned it seems like a very odd choice for Brisson to direct a medieval epic. However, this takes place after the um, unsuccessful campaign for the Holy Grail. Um, the knights were turned decimated, uh, their numbers have thinned out. So this actually turns out to be a perfect vehicle for Brisson in that it deals with the very Catholic struggles of existence and, you know, the nature of uh, belief and all that. Uh, this has been Alex from The Trailer Project. Thank you for watching. Be safe out there, and we'll see you later.